Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to some Planet Zoo again. Finally, it is my time to, to work on the Buxton Zoo, which, which you didn't see last week. Uh, my man here, Beyond Drew, say hello. Hey -o. He He worked on this park for the last episode or previous episode. And today uh, I'm going to present to you what I have been working on for a week's time now. And I'm going to show it to Drew as well. He hasn't seen much of it, so I think that's going to be a lot of fun. How are you doing yeah. today? I'm I'm doing great, man. I'm really really excited. Like you said, you I think you showed me like um, a building that you did for the entranceway, and then after that, you're like, I'm not showing you anything else. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna be just as surprised as everyone else. So. This, this could go both ways. Either you're super happy with what I did, or maybe you just hate it. I don't know. We'll see next episode, I guess. <laughs> right. If it's all taken out next episode, then you'll know how I feel about it. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> uh, so the first thing I did, I created this little sign right here. Uh, and this is uh, connecting your part. I haven't touched your part much. Uh, and my new area, the, the modern zoo. And we kind or the modern entrance, I guess. And we talked about kind of the difference between them. And didn't we kind of figure that the, um, the old entrance is for seasonal pass members. Yes. And the new one will be for uh, daily visitors, like tourists and stuff. Because uh, there we have the turn cycles. Right. Like that. So that's, yeah, like you said, it's more of a general public can kind of go in through the modern entrance really quickly. But if you have a season pass or um, anything that has to do with that, then is that a crane? <laughs> I was just kind of wondering if you saw that. <laughs> I just thought, that. is that a crane? <laughs> oh, man. Just Are you putting animals see. on the crane and like whipping them around? <laughs> yeah, did you see that the pig they dropped from the the thing? Yeah, from the like Chinese zoo or yeah. something. So I'm yeah. doing that here with elephants. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was horrible though. Oh god. Let's not joke Peter? about that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I built this little path here. I, I tried several different designs and I think this one was the one that kind of worked the best. It's nice and wide uh, we got the trees in the middle here all looking pretty and stuff. And then we got this uh, little path things uh, or um, pause. Yeah, thing? pause. Yeah, we were pause. talking about that just before we recorded and um, I, I think that's such a really cool detail. I put that in my beta zoo um, back in beta and uh, yeah, it's, I think it's such a cool little uh, detail and idea to throw in. Yeah. So, so I like that, and kind of leading you towards here if you want to. Right. Uh, I've done some landscaping, been spending some Ooh. time on that. Uh, kind of just using the same template as you did for the last pond yes. thing. Uh, so I added a little pond over here for that so thing. So if, if people don't know what we mean when we say template or anything like that, um, so this zoo is going to be located in, do we decide uh, North America or Europe? I think it was Britain, right? Britain, yeah. Well, it doesn't Boston. really matter, but uh, this general temperate area... Um, yeah, so we want to keep the natural trees that we're using kind of the same palette, so the same few natural trees, and then um, so that's what he means when he means like our template for trees and stuff. So yeah, and, and rocks and, and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I added this little roundabout Ooh. here. Uh, there was no well, you had a road going just right here, right? Uh, but I decided to add a roundabout so we can get the people into the other area and then the old area as well. So I did that. We had a Perfect. little bit of uh, a decoration thing in the middle. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you can do a better job uh, than me on this, but it works. It's uh, a start, but, right? Yeah, it's a start. So now let's move over to what we're here for today. The big stuff. Uh, the big stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, here is a little parking lot. Uh, it, it's kind of small, and, and that's what's happening up in, in the, the right corner here. And uh, we're going to take a look at that. So we're um, oh, a little okay. sneak peek for you. Uh, I got gotcha. you. There's a parking lot here for um, for cars that are coming for like daily visits and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Very simple, very plain, but it gets the job done. And uh, trying to put in a little bit of effort into markings and stuff like that. Whoa, hello. Hey, look, we're in the bus. We're going <laughs> we're for a bus, bus ride. <laughs> it, there's no interior here. Shame. Right. Uh, but then we got like the thing that I'm the most happy about is um, the modern entrance here. Oh, uh, I love it. I love it's it. It's very nice, simplistic, minimalistic, modern style, which is a style I personally enjoy a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, both building, but also uh, like looking at. Uh, we got a little gift shop outside. Now, hold so on. You... Back it up real quick, because I don't want to gloss over your, uh, your efforts there. Look at the <laughs> mosaic that you did uh, for your archway, the entrance arch. Oh, I want you yeah. to show that. Yeah. Because if, if y'all don't know, <laughs> he placed those individually. <laughs> yeah, let me show you that. Uh, can I do. And this all is a big thing in the Planet Zoo. Things. 
There you go. Yep. And this is a big thing in the Planet Zoo uh, community right now is the mosaics. If you're on Reddit or Facebook uh, groups for Planet Zoo, you'll see a lot of these on for like ground or building mosaics. I haven't seen someone do an archway like this, so that's a really, really unique and cool idea. Well, thank you. It's trying to tie up the Victorian style with the modern, so I think it kind of works. It's and a nice you transition. Notice, there is uh, there's different blue colors as well here. It's not just yeah. one blue color. And that's something I've seen a lot of people just use one plain color and I like stones like this are usually a little different you know right so, exactly. so uh, just a little tint of detail Mo most people won't notice but but i will but we uh, yeah, exactly and that's all that matters <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah yeah thank you for pointing that out uh, totally kind of overlooked that that was the first thing i kind of built so so great you saw that um then we got the gift shop which um is very simple i might have to come back and add some more detail to this yeah, hey, um, we got a little bit of uh, interior going, so that's a that's a good sh uh, start. Yeah, there's some hats here. This is supposed to be hats. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and and stuff like that. But yeah, but it's the same style as uh, this one here uh, in the front. So we got. And this... what was your? Uh, you you had a reference, right? For yeah, this? I think it was. Oh, I can't remember right now. Um, was it the Oregon Zoo? Brook? Uh, oh, uh, the Lincoln Park Zoo. Maybe. Oh I no, can't... yeah, maybe the Bronx, but. Uh, but yeah, anyways, no, it's, I remember you had a reference photo and it Yeah, I had some, and I did it. some sketches on my own trying to come up mm -hmm. with a design that worked for what we had. Uh, we got a little staircase going up here with these animals are kind of climbing the stairs into the That's suit. I, I love that. Um, nice and simplistic, though, but it's kind of fun for the kids looking at, uh, you know, the animals, the elephant and ostrich and stuff. Absolutely. Climbing the stairs, also coming to the zoo. Uh, and then there's this elevator, or not elevator, but this ramp for um, wheelchair users. Yeah, great. Yep, because we gotta think. Uh, we got we gotta think of planter. everyone. Yeah. So so that's that. A uh, little planter and stuff, uh, you know, for decoration purposes. Uh, but let's take a look at what we got here. Um, probably spent a little too much time on this, but it turned out pretty nice. I hope. Oh, it's amazing. Um, so so we got this modern thing with uh, some plants on the top. Again, just using some of the local plants, but maybe a little bit of flowers as well, and yeah. Let me actually I love pause green the roofs. game just it... for the sounds. Um, yeah, again, please. Oh, I just said the, the idea of uh, green roofs, you know, adding uh, plants and everything on top of a, a flat roof and everything. I love that idea. It's, uh, oh, yeah. it's such a good use of a, uh, of a top. So it adds, and it adds, like you said, just a whole lot. You know, instead of just having a flat roof piece, now you actually have something going on. <laughs> yeah, and it also isolates a little bit. I know it's not really necessary to isolate this bit, but uh, like for heat and also uh, coldness and stuff, it, it right. can isolate pretty well with the roots and the leaves and stuff. Exactly. Uh, we got the archer here looking pretty angry. He's not getting an entrance <laughs> pass. <laughs> uh, we don't allow any armed weapons in here. So What? Okay, I guess that's fair. <laughs> uh, then we got this entrance area. Uh, I'm very interested in how you take this. Uh, it's a little computer screen here with a little keyboard. That's, that's the so best good. keyboard I can come up with. Uh, and a mouse um, like that. Uh, Dude, that's so good. I thought, did you made that? That's not from the yeah, workshop? Yeah, I, I, I made that. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. I was like, I, I got to figure this stuff out. Figure out a way to, to represent a computer and it kind of works. Well, and that's all about the Planet Games. If it's not in-game, you're just going to be like, okay, I can build this. Even if yeah. it's as small as a computer, I know I can do it. <laughs> and you nailed it. <laughs> uh, and then we've got like some magazines here you can hand out to the people coming in. Sure. Uh, that's a custom piece I also built um, here. And both of them, uh, and then we got these turn cycles to to get through here. Yep. Which yep. Uh, is nice. a standard um, uh, workshop item. Most people use that, I guess. Perfect. Yeah. And then I noticed yeah. you had the uh, like a stroller and um, wheelchair access on the other side as well. Yeah, I just want to show you this coffee mug I made. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to try to kind of build it. That's uh, so funny. <laughs> yeah, I tried to add a smoke effect, but I just filled this whole area with smoke. I, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, no, this, that... <laughs> uh, yeah, for, for trolleys and wheelchair users, you can open this. I added this like uh, lock. You seen those? You like you, you pull it up and then you can move the gates freely and then you put it back down to lock it. Right. Uh, so that's that kind of for, for trolleys and wheelchair users. And uh, also we're going to use this as exit, um, I think. Okay, yep, um, yep. So there's going to be people con kind of controlling that. Um, <laughs> there's so much yeah. stuff here. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> we got a lot done. Uh, <laughs> then we got a little information desk uh, on the side here. Ooh. With uh, a nice big font 
and, and this one is kind of detailed on the inside as well. Oh, I love those. Uh, I've, I use those maps. as I think they're from Ricey as yeah, well as the fonts. Uh, she does an amazing job in, mm -hmm. in Planet Zoo. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's what I love about the community. Like 90% of the things you use uh, is not a base game feature. It's stuff people have built inside a game and uploaded. Right. Uh, and then there is this little door to kind of get into the offices and stuff. I kind of imagine uh, there would be some offices up in the second floor and stuff like that. I could for, see that, yeah, yeah. For the, that build, so uh, there's a block here which is not supposed to be here. No, sh it's <laughs> supposed to be there. Just, just act like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna leave it. Um, oh, see, because it took off all of your. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm so you'll just have to separate that, it. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I'm it's a fix little that. thing. <laughs> uh, and then we got a, a similar kind of design thing as we did with the first uh, sign I made for uh, the lions and, and the giraffe and tiger uh, as we kind of get in here. Some uh, some major some main animals that we have in the zoo. Yeah, hopefully we will have all of these. Uh, right. We have planned a lion at least, but yeah, we will see where we go. Uh, and just kind of DIY or like work in progress area here. Uh, just kind of fill stuff in. That's a that's great. You you accomplished so much. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, there is more though. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, added this sign. I just I haven't kind of spoken to you. Um, Eighteen ten should be about the good time for starting the zoo uh, with, with the lore we kind of got uh, you right. know the rich family having animals and stuff and I kind of looked into the first the oldest zoos in the world they started about 50 years before this so uh, kind of makes sense just a little detail I wanted to sure. add sure yeah, uh, so not the oldest zoo but around that time yeah uh, the only I had to use uh, I think it was Ricey's mm -hmm. fonts let me see here um, the classic font yeah I the think classic font but there was no 8 so I had to make that myself Oh, there was not Okay, that looks <laughs> so, good. Yeah, yeah. It, it so that's why we ended with 1810, because th that's an O and there's two I's. <laughs> uh, so I did, right. yeah, I only wanted to make one of the, the numbers. Uh, I and don't I've got blame a you. Victorian style art, um, statue in the front here. Perfect. So yeah, let's just, like open here. Uh, I wanted to do a little habitat here, but you kind of told me not to, so. <laughs> I think that was it's a good a, it's idea. It's a YouTube though. thing. You have to. Um, it's always by episode three is when you introduce your first animal. I think every exactly. single Planet Zoo YouTuber has done that. So we'll exactly. we'll do that as well. <laughs> yeah, totally. And I think that was a good call. Um, we've been uh, touring for fifty minutes now, and we haven't seen it all yet. Right. Uh, look oh, at this, <laughs> dude. Oh, is this going to be the um, what we were talking about with the underground parking or like a. The parking house, parking parking house. parking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so this was a lot of fun. It was super, like, yeah, working with my creative uh, ideas and coming up with unique features. And I think it looks like a proper like in construction site. Absolutely. Uh, but I was kind of squeezed on the edge here. Um, but I think it works. Um, now, did you do? Did you build all of these objects in here, or, or some from the workshop? A few of them. The crane uh, is custom. That's uh, awesome. And the, uh, and the containers, of course. Well, you already know people are going to ask, so you may as well put the crane up on the workshop. So. <laughs> no, the, the crane. The, the crane is from the workshop. The rest. Oh, I'm sorry. And I the misunderstood. containers are from the workshop. Uh, gotcha. I think I should have them linked down below to document with all my workshop items, uh, if you're interested. Um, uh, and this car here was from the workshop, but I had to modify the whole thing pretty much. Yeah. It was like a, a vacuum cleaner car or. Oh, I've seen that thing. one. Yeah. So, so uh, I just made it look like a concrete thing. Sure. Uh, yeah, a concrete yeah. truck so, or so something. So kind of redid the whole design, but just used the base base shape of it. But yeah. That's so good. Yeah, this whole scene is just... Uh, I haven't seen anyone do anything like this in the game yet, so that's uh, that's a really original, cool Yeah, idea. there wasn't a lot of construction things, so, so that was kind of fun. I also added some construction lights, which... Nice. Kind of works. Um, yeah. Gotta love that uh, that uh, J.J. Abrams lens flare. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I accomplished for today's episode. Um, it's been so much fun, man. Super stoked for this project here and, and to see where it kind of goes from here, you know? Totally, yeah. And, and now that I've seen like you build or your build and everything, like now I'm just like running with like a million ideas and I'm so excited to get oh, back into the zoo. Oh, that's so good to hear. <laughs> um, so. 
So I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, if you want to continue checking out this series here, you have to go over there uh, through the link down below and check out my man, Beyond Drew, uh, yeah. which is going to take over this park now and it's going to do some amazing work for <sighs> maybe next week or the week below or uh, after. Yeah, English, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we're... We're yeah. saying max two weeks, like maximum amount of time, two weeks. But it'll probably, we hope to stick around a week. Yeah. Would be nice. So, mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, come on over to my channel and hang out so you can stay up to date with the uh, with this awesome zoo. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah, guys, I don't think there's too much more to to go on about. I think I've showed most of their stuff. Yeah, no, dude, you uh, yeah. you knocked it out of the park for real. It's uh, you did a way more than I thought you were gonna do, to be honest with you. So that's uh, that's awesome. Well, I take that um, as a compliment, man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's very yeah. well. I had to stop you. <laughs> yeah, you kind of <laughs> so, had to. So, but yeah, I think for the next episode, I'll uh, I'll kind of work uh, in that middle area that we were kind of showing off inside the zoo, um, yeah. and we'll kind of start to uh, we'll have an animal next uh, next episode oh, yeah. finally. So that's awesome, man. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button and check out Drew's channel. Uh, it's been Vigo, man, and I'm out. And I'm Beyond Drew. Have a good one.